Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This time there's some news on Neptunia. There's actually two things that were just announced very recently. And uh, yeah, I want to talk about them here. The first one is about Neptunia Game Maker Revolution. Now we've talked about this game before, but it has now been announced for a Western release. So that's great. The consoles it will be on is PS4, PS5, and then also the Nintendo Switch. I'm going to assume, you know, PC later down the line. That's usually how that works. There is a teaser trailer there, but uh, it's the same as a Japanese one, except it actually has been translated and we can see the names there. And they're just localizations of uh, what they were when we first heard about them. You know, the maker characters that are based on the failed consoles of the 90s. So PP has been respelled to be like Pippi, I guess. So, you know, so there's not all these PP jokes, I suppose. Jarga is now Jaga or something like that. I don't well see how it's being pronounced, I guess. And then Lydio is Ridio. So, you know, the point is that it sounds like 3DO. 2024 is release date. Nothing else has been specified other than, yeah, next year. <laughs> so, like, there's screenshots, but it's not any different than the stuff we've seen. Uh, it's, you know, from the developer build from the Japanese version. But hey, if you haven't seen the pictures yet, uh, well, there they are on the screen. Here's officially what I guess the overview blurb is. The latest installment of the Nintendo series has arrived. The goal of this game is to rebuild and manage a game company, build your company, and turn it into a huge corporation. The latest entry to the world of Neptunia is better than ever, apparently. Uh, the battle system has been expanded and now allows for a four-person party. Dungeons uh, can be explored and... On a high-speed motorcycle, we've seen some footage of that in the Japanese version. And the heartful photo mode will let you express yourself via fun manga-like creations. Also something that's been briefly touched upon, I suppose, in the past. Key features, Game Studio of the Year. Play as the main pro tag, older nap, and grow a previous defunct gaming studio to success. Building Game Studio requires strong developers, cutting-edge video games, and the expansion of your market. So yeah, we saw some management stuff there in the... Japanese updates, so that's what that seems to refer to. Build games and boost your party. Boost your party stats with the help of creating games in real time and choose developers to work on your next hit game. Add other game elements found in Dungeons and Monsters to elevate your video game development and to further passive boosts or to further passive or sorry, for further passive boosts to your party. So I guess that is like, you know, how game discs used to work or something like that. It's time to room, room. Oh, jeez. Ride and style through dungeons and sell your games on your trusty purple motorcycle as you explore more dungeons and find game elements, game element items to add to your next breakthrough hit. You can also gain more shares of that location. Party management one on one. Supervise a party of four to lead your company to the top, but there may be other game studios ready to take you down. So, what is it going to be like? A, we're going to be fighting them <laughs> with a revamped battle system, apparently. Chained attacks and transformative specials, older Nep and friends are ready for victory. There we go. So that's that, but uh, we have some more news, and that's regarding to a game we already have heard about, and uh, some of us already have played as well. It's Neptunia Sisters vs. Sisters. You know, that already came out, but now it will come out on the Xbox, and that is very interesting. Um, Yeah, so we've had some games come up on the Switch, in the past and in the future and uh, now we're gonna see the first Neptunia game actually on the Xbox as well so this was announced at the same time it says it will launch physically in North America and Europe and digitally worldwide for the following Xbox consoles in 2024 again no date specified Xbox one Xbox one X why does it say Xbox one X and S and Xbox series X and S there's no Xbox one X is there Oh yeah, actually it is. It's That's like the pro version, isn't it? One important detail that they thankfully mentioned, and I applaud them for that, is that the Xbox releases will be like, you know, it says here it's based on the original PS4 and PS5 releases, and uh, the patch 1.01 stuff that happened with the changes to the dialogue is going to be implemented on the Xbox versions. And in case you don't know, I did a video about that. Uh, but basically, the point is that that patch had dialogue changes, which actually took some language, which actually wasn't that big of a deal, and then further toned it down. You know, it's uh, it's actually pretty mild stuff. 
but the reason they had to do that was because they made a mistake when it came to the rating systems. I think it was with ESRB, possibly. And you know how in the back there's stuff written like, uh, you know, language or gambling or extreme violence, you know, depending on what the game is. Well, it was missing one of those things. So even though it was a T rating and the language that was originally in the game, you know, that actually works with that T rating. But because it was missing that little identifier there about, uh, you know, the, the language being a bit more saucy, I suppose, uh, they had to patch it out. Uh, now, I'm not a huge fan that they decided to do that straight away with the Xbox version. I'm pretty sure I know why they did it, though. It's so like, hey, all the versions are the same. But yeah, I, I don't I don't like the fact that uh, they changed it for every version. And that's also true for the, you know, other non-PlayStation versions. Um, well, Steam, I guess. That one was patched, unfortunately. But thankfully, because they know we care about this stuff, they did mention it. So, you know, you can make your decision on whether you want to purchase this game or not. I hope this is a good opportunity for them to bring other Neptunia games over to Xbox because, well, I mean, better availability is always better, right? Uh, the trailer isn't really worth showing. It's li They literally managed to make a trailer of just a black screen and then they're talking about, oh, fumbling the light with the lights and then they turn on the lights and there's like a logo that says, hey, it's coming to Xbox. And it's like, oh, jeez, you know, talk about a minimalistic use of the video format. But anyways... It does say there's going to be some more news about the physical release later. So, you know, whether there's a limited edition for the Xbox versions, we don't know. Um, it does say it will be available for uh, Xbox One and also the Xbox Series X and S. But it doesn't state whether it's going to be like a dual version where it's just, you know, an Xbox One game that just scales up onto the Series X and S or if there's actual separate versions like uh, with the PS4 and PS5 game. So yeah, we'll have to see how that is when when they drop some more news on that topic. I don't really see any differences in terms of the actual screenshots and, uh, you know, the PS5 game, for example. So, but we'll only know once it actually comes out and uh, hopefully I'll have the opportunity to give that a go and do a bit of comparison there in the future. But yeah, that's the news in regards to Neptunia. Neptunia on Xbox and, uh, you know, the new game coming out all next year. And hopefully we'll soon get some more announcements on, you know, physical editions, limited editions, and more precise scheduling, that sort of thing. So thanks very much for watching. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you again in the next video.